In this section, primarily I'm going to cover what do you mean by a quality of your solar power plant? First of all, what you have to recognize is solar is an asset which has to last for 30, 35 years. It's a power plant. It needs to last as much as your building will last. Right? So you have to have the mindset ki this is a power plant that needs to be built well and it has to last for 30, 35 years. The number one issue is safety. In this discussion, I'm going to also tell you what we do different as Fenis. But what you have to recognize is a solar power plant carries extremely high voltages, high DC voltages, sometimes 700, 800, 1000 volts. And unless they are designed properly with the right material, there is risk of life. So I wouldn't want you to take a chance by just simply making a decision to buy solar plant based on what is cheapest quality. Someday the price that you pay will be very heavy. If the cables are not of the right quality and you're carrying 800 volt DC, this can start a DC fire and really hurt you. So don't, I mean, you may decide not to buy, but when you buy, please take interest to go into the depth of what the quality is and ensure that you're buying a high quality system. So the first one is because of safety. The quality of a solar power plant itself can be, dis can be broken down into multiple dimensions. One is, it starts with design quality. Is the team that you're working with, are they using the right materials to design the overall system? See, a solar plant is not just the brand of the panel. Honestly, the brand of the panel does not mean anything. In every brand, you get better quality solar product or the worst quality solar product as well. What is important for you to understand is, a solar system is 70, 80, 90 line items. There are nuts and bolts and structure and power electronics and distribution boxes, panels, cables. There are many, many items that constitute what becomes a solar power plant, right? So don't recognize that the brand of the panel alone is not important. You know, we often find a customer, they are stuck. They want only this panel. They don't talk about everything else. I don't want you to be like that. Recognize that you're buying a power plant that has 75, 80 line items. And if you work with the right service provider, the service provider will have a specification for every line item. For every line item, they will know what is allowed, what is not allowed. What are the limits? What are the good products? What are the good brands that sell that specification or sell those products for every line item? That is very important. That's the starting point of supply chain and ensuring that you're starting the design with the right quality of materials, right? The second point is in design also safety element is very important. You know, we often find customers they want the maximum capacity solar power plant. That is not, that should not be by any measure an important criteria. Because when you try to maximize the capacity of the solar plant, some of the vendors, they won't be paying attention to where the overhead tank is casting a shadow. But you don't want to set up solar panels where there, where there is a shadow. And the shadow area also moves during the year. So a larger area than what you might perceive as sh shaded area has to be avoided accounting for the seasonal movement of the shadow. The second point is we would like usually in every plant of ours leave a one meter perimeter around the solar plant. Why is that important? First of all, during construction, we don't want to put our 
employees and the teams that are working on our behalf at risk. I don't want our teams to stand on the parapet wall and tighten the, blow to, uh, the bolt of the solar, solar panels. We don't want to do that. We want to make sure that there is a clear space around the solar system for somebody to climb on a ladder, fix the panels. That is during construction. But the bigger problem is you are going to be the owner of the power plant for the next 30, 35 years. Right? Somebody in your house may choose to clean the panels. If you don't provide proper access to the solar panels, there can be one day where there is a risk and somebody falls down. We never want to have that happen at all. Safety first. Safety is most important. Not just our safety. Safety for you. So don't ask the vendors to give you the maximum capacity. Every vendor anyway is motivated to increase the power plant size. But people like us don't want to do that at an expense which will affect you later. So please remember this point when it comes to the capacity of the power plant. Most people nowadays are using monocut perk solar modules which are 550 watt peak. Very soon we'll have topcon modules which will go to 570, 580, 600, 650. So the panel efficiencies are going to be more or less similar. So the only way somebody is able to give you a larger plant is simply compromising safety or giving you panels where there will be shaded area and completely disregarding that. Not only will the power generation be low, but when there is a part shading of a panel, it can ruin that panel. We call it hotspots and that panel can die causing all kinds of problems and your whole power plant can produce significantly low even if it's one panel that has hotspot because the panels are generally in a string connected in series. For those of you that understand electrical engineering, it's like up, you have connected batteries, but one battery is performing poorly. So the whole system of batteries will produce much less because of just that one bad battery in the middle, which is what will happen when you have partially shaded panels. So that is the design quality element. You start with the right set of material. You have to design the system according to what will last for 30 years and what is right for the customer. Now, when it comes to construction, it is difficult. You all know that Indian construction workers, whether it is civil, mechanical, you know, are, are a difficult bunch when it comes to quality. We go through rigorous training of these people. We certify them both on safety as well as quality. We rate and rank them to ensure that the people that we give more work to are rated highly. We also do audit, quality audit, video call audit of every construction site that we do. And I'm telling you, despite that, it is a difficult bunch of people. So construction quality is very difficult to achieve. And we do, we have tremendous amount of processes. I'll give you an example. When you have a bolt, you, you know, you have a bolt and you have to tighten the bolt. Do you know that you have to tighten the bolt with a specific level of pressure? We call it force in physics or torque, T-O-R-Q-U-E. Every bolt has to be tightened with the right level of torque so that it doesn't open up in a 30 year life. Just imagine if your bolts open up and there is a there is a cyclone or there is a typhoon, the panels will go flying and you see these pictures all the time. But you can imagine how hard it is to get the Indian construction worker to follow meticulous work when every bolt, so we do that. Every bolt that we set up has a torque marking and we ensure that the construction workers have tightened it at the right level. The, I'm just giving you an example of what one can do in construction quality. You know, the cables may not be properly tethered, attached to a cable tray. And that is a problem because if you don't do that, someday somebody is going to trip and fall, which is a safety issue or cut the cable. It will be a huge problem. 
See, you have to build things right from day one. This is not a technology where you can come back and keep repairing later. Do it right from the day one. And it takes a lot of effort to train these people to do it right because you're dealing with a small power plant. See, if it is a large project of 1,000, 5,000 crores, you can call the largest construction contractors in the country. They'll come with proper procedures and do it. But now we're dealing with a construction crew of three people, four people. How do you get a small contractor of three, four people team to deliver world class quality in construction? That is construction quality. Now, when the construction is completed, there should be a clear checklist of quality measurements to ensure that the site is done done properly the installation is done properly and that's when you hand over the site to the operations and maintenance team right and there should be a clear punch list that should be created you know we we do a quality audit when the site is done and we create a punch list to ensure that if a bolt is not right we will mark that and the contractor is to go and do it right that has to be done because once you let the contractor go and you don't clear the punch list, that's it. Then your motivation or the cost of addressing that problem becomes too high. So you won't address it. You will just let it go. But it will affect the power plant quality at a later point in time. The next bit is operations and maintenance. See, any, any power plant, the purpose of having a solar power plant is to generate solar energy, right? And generation of solar energy depends on many factors. It depends on the quality of materials you've used. It depends on the construction quality. It depends on the operations and maintenance quality, right? So we believe that every solar plant has to be monitored every minute that it's generating. So all our solar plants, they are digitally monitored. We give you as a customer, we'll give you an app. You can tell how much was the generation today, was the generation as expected or was it short, short of what was expected. And if there is a gap, there is a shortfall, we even go down and calculate through our data science and analytics work, is this shortfall because of the weather conditions? You know, maybe it was a cloudy day, maybe there were passing clouds, maybe the sunshine was less, right? So we have to calculate what is the actual generation. We compare it to what is expected. And when there is a shortfall, we classify it based on weather or maybe the panels are dirty. They have to be cleaned. We find that in a country like US, you can get away with cleaning panels once a year. But in India, the environment is quite dusty, right? Especially in an urban area. So you have a lot of dust that comes and when dust is sitting on the panel, you have to imagine that the light is not able to go inside the panel and generate power as well. So it's not like it goes to zero, but it doesn't generate as well. You might have 10%, 20%, 5% less energy output and it keeps getting worse as more and more dust settles on your panel. So we automatically detect that and depending on whose responsibility it is to clean the panels, we will issue a notification. Now, all of this has to be done with automation. Nobody is going to go in and they look at the panel and say, oh my God, there is so much dust. Chalo, we'll clean it today. That's not how it's going to work because if you do that, that means you're losing energy, right? Our goal is we have a productive asset and we want to maximize the amount of energy right so that's a that's the main purpose so that gives you an indication of how we perform ONM to ensure with a completely automated way that the plant is generating the right amount of power see sometimes also the plant generation can be low because of grid conditions you know there may be an outage in the grid or there may be an under voltage instead of being 220 volts the grid may only be because of summer months, it may have dropped to 190 volts. And maybe the solar inverter does not work at 190 volts and it shuts off. Because it shuts off, your power generation is wasted. On a summer peak, summer 
summer day when you need more power because you're running all your air conditioners because of low voltage. So all of these problems happen. What is important is every solar system has to be monitored. And if there is a shortfall, it has to be classified. And we have to share with you as a customer why there is a shortfall. Now, the last but not the least is the life of the power plant. What you have to remember is it is a power plant that will last for 30, 35 years. Which is, I mean, everybody says the panels have a guarantee or a power performance warranty for 25 years. That is the industry standard. The standard is that the power production will at least stay at an 80% level, which means if you, if you start with 500 watt peak in 25 years, that panel will at least generate 400 watt peak. But what you have to remember is these numbers that are written behind the panel, 400 and 450 and 550, they're all under standard laboratory test conditions, not when they're sitting in your terrace. These are at a specific amount of light and specific temperature. The higher the temperature, the lower the production. We want more sunlight, less temperature. Please remember that. So a sunny day, which is really hot in the summer, is not going to give you the highest generation. Maybe it's a winter day, which has a maximum amount of sun, will give you the highest generation. So these are just some quirky aspects of how the solar cell works and you should just be aware of it right so uh, so you if you know this then you won't be worried when on a really hot day the solar production actually is quite low you should not be surprised by that so the last bit is around the life of the power plant if you build it right you know we have we have examined solar power plants that are 35 years old which belong to us and they work well in many parts of the world so if you build a good, good asset with good materials, good design and maintain it properly, it will generate the return that you expected and give you an obscenely high level of return. If you compromise on cost and try to buy the cheapest possible solar plant, you are first and foremost compromising your own safety. I would say it's not worth it. Don't do it. If you really want to decide and go for the cheapest possible plant, don't compromise your safety because DC fire is not a small issue and it can really cause a lot of damage to your home and loved ones. Don't do it. Do the system if you're ready to work, learn more about quality and work with a high quality vendor. Thank you very much.